All right, it's currently three. We're about to make our pre-workout and go to the gym to meet a couple guys, hit a sick workout. But before that, in only three days, my previous video is at 460 views, 65 comments, and 79 likes, which honestly is absolutely mind-boggling. Plus, as I was talking about last video, a thousand subs, we're at 1156 now. What the? My engagement has been absolutely sick, both on here and on Instagram. So I really just want to say thank you to everyone that left a comment, a like, watched it, all the people DMing me and supporting my Instagram stuff as well. So I don't have any like gorilla mode or any of that on me right now. So my current daily pre has been just total war. But since I'm lifting with other people, we're whipping out the reckoning again. Mainly because the DMHA, I like having more stims when I'm working out with other people because it makes me more talkative. It makes me interact better, especially if I'm vlogging. I just realized I put way too much. In there. I don't need a full scoop. Full scoop like 400 caffeine. I'll put it all in there and then I'll just leave a couple sips left, you know? I personally don't see any reason to make a pre over 300 caffeine. If someone needs over 300 caffeine to feel it, you're fucked. So for some people, if you take heavy stimulants, it can cause some kind of stress. However, ashwagandha, natty supplement, helps lower your cortisol, helps lower your stress. So I've been taking it with my pre. I'm not 100% sure to be honest if I'm noticing a difference, but I don't get stressed out or anything. Like coming down from the pre isn't bad. So either way, it's good to take regardless. So I'm taking three of these ashwagandha ashwagandha caps as well i just tried to put the water bottle cap on the fucking pill bottle we're using a straw my breakfast was actually pretty random this morning that's because texas got a little bit of snow and the power went off at some place for a little bit and everyone decided to buy out every grocery store you know i said i'd save a little bit in there you guys check out patch's shirt Comment below your favorite brand of bottled water. Right now I have an Essentia and an Evian. However, out of all the like snazzy bottled water, I think my favorite is Aquapana. My wrist is actually, I guess, grown. So I can't wear my watch anymore, it's too tight. That's a flex coming from a skinny boy. Skinny guys know the trouble of having a small wrist dude especially like in junior high, kids will be like, let me see your wrist. And you show them your wrist, you're like, oh, here they go, and they go, Oh my gosh, you're so skinny! <laughs> Do you not eat food? It's actually my friend, Shadow Austin. Oh, f dude, yo! Thank you. Good for Yo! 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 I'm gonna do bench, then I got bicep fries. Okay, cool. I failed, don't put 
All right, I got you. So guys, she came up to me a couple days ago and showed me a video of her deadlifting and asked me to critique her form. Kind of the same thing I sold Touche one day is don't, when you hip pump, don't hip pump too low. Otherwise, it'll just shoot back up and then you'll start your pull. And she said that's helped. So she's about to go for a PR of 225. I told her to switch to the red bar because she was using just one of the basic default Walmart bars. Switch to that red rope bar, way stiffer, could get it off the ground just a slightly bit easier. So maybe she'll hit it this time. Attempt number three. I would have given up like three attempts ago. Want me just having to show off for the birds, you know what I mean? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Yo, I'm the, I'm literally like fucking 500 IQ, bro. Well, well, well. What's up, bitch? All right, we are heading to Lupe Tortilla for some wonderful Mexican food. We've been here so long, dude. Like waiting for pictures, and then I literally got like one picture. I don't want to hit the same poses for every single picture, but I'm also not shredded, so it's hard to get creative. You know what I mean? Walkie slush. Walkie slush. I need my wallet and my keys. I'm trying to like talk myself out of it, but I literally get nachos every time I go to a Mexican place. <laughs> I ended up getting the nachos. No regrets. All right, I'm right here. Later, guys. Later, bro. These are Kenny's shorts. Are you ready? Yeah. Open. These are not shorts. <laughs> no, they're not. Babe, these are expensive. <laughs> I know. Cheers. Dang, we really got Yeezys, bro. Never had Yeezys or any nicer shoes, to be honest. So this is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. If you know anything about computers, you know graphics cards in general, but especially the 30 series, the new NVIDIA cards are in very high demand and very little supply. Hopefully this year my goal is to hit 10K followers and honestly also 10K subscribers on YouTube. And I told myself if I hit that milestone, I'm gonna try to start streaming. I have like epic followers and subscribers already, so I think once I get to like 10K, if I start streaming, I feel like at least some people will watch it. All right, so pre-workout. We're just gonna drink a big tall glass of coffee. Cheers. That is not a big tall glass of coffee. Yo, what? A loose fitting t-shirt and shorts. This fit absolutely destroys any gains I think I have. But we got the fucking Yeezys, so it doesn't matter because the only flexing I'll be doing is with my fucking feet. Yo guys, I didn't know if y'all knew, but there's a baby on board. I was actually about to rear end this vehicle, but then I saw the baby on board stickers, so I'm not going to anymore. So we're gonna be hitting shoulders, mainly side and rear delts, and quads. Leg extensions for sure, probably just gonna do a bunch of those, because I know how to do it now to where I can actually hit my outer quad way more than my teardrop, because usually my teardrops are way more dominant on leg extensions. And then James is gonna be here in like an hour and a half, and we're gonna film a video for him. Hey, how many weeks now? So, it's been a 14 week prep. Five weeks and six days, dude. Fark, bro. We're gonna be seeing this man <laughs> yeah. on stage coming April. Put a picture right here of like Fat Travis and then Travis now. So I've always heard to point your toes inward to hit the outer quads, however even when I would do that my teardrops would always take over the lift, they've always just been more dominant, however once I started doing single leg extensions while leaning on that side, I actually target my outer quads and they're finally starting to grow because as I'm doing the lift I notice I'm actually hitting my outer quad and the teardrops aren't really trying to take over the lift. Not gonna lie guys, I was in a pretty bad mood for most of that workout. I uh, stepped on the scale. So like I mentioned, I've like lost a lot of weight, but I thought I was on the way back through the day. I was at 164. 
versus the 162, but bro, I was 161.7. Less than two weeks ago, I was 169.9. About to get in the 170s, which is my goal at the time, and I really like dropped the ball. Can I get a number two combo? On a brighter note, we hit 2,200 followers while I was working out. 2,206 right now. That is very cool. I absolutely just demolished that Dairy Queen. But that fast food's not gonna be a normal thing, guys. I gotta get, I gotta track my calories again. I got to start tracking every single day because when I was doing that, the gains were absolutely insane. When I was hitting that 3,200, some days 3,500 calories a day, the gains, the strength, everything was phenomenal. And that was even before like I, I took LGD for a little bit. And another thing is, I wasn't gonna mention this, but I'm gonna be real, I woke up at 9.30, like got up, went to the bathroom, checked my phone, and then got back in bed. It was like, oh, I won't fall back asleep. And I fell back asleep till 12. Anytime I do that, anytime I oversleep or sleep late in the day, the rest of the day, I feel like an absolute loser. Even if I had nothing to do that day, there's stuff I should have tried to do. There's videos I should have tried to make, TikToks, come up with ideas, edit something. Because to keep this momentum going with my TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I'm gonna have to keep putting that max effort. Otherwise, it's gonna start plateauing the same way as if I stop eating and tracking like very disciplined every single day my weight starts dropping and we're bulking there's no reason for me to lose eight pounds when we're fucking bulking dude that makes me so upset so i think what i'm gonna do tomorrow or next day depending on what when i get all my groceries i'm going to do a full day of eating so guys the next video is a full day of eating bulking gonna have workouts still gonna be a vlog i'm just gonna mention the food i'm eating and put calories on the screen basically that's the only difference also if you've made it this far into the video you're absolutely you're, you're goaded you're definitely one of my top supporters right there thank you guys so much for over 1100 subs on this channel and thank you guys so much for 2200 followers on my instagram in october i think i had like 400 something followers like this is insane i need to keep putting out the best content possible because otherwise it's like i don't even deserve the followers or the growth you know but i'm currently waiting on brandon and james to pull up because i will be filming a video for james's channel according to my youtube analytics 79.6% of my watch time is from people who are not subscribed. So all I've asked is if you've made it this far or you've watched a couple of videos, consider subscribing.